games left for our second day in week number three. Shovel again with leg day. We've got the head into some Soul Infernal versus Panthera. And uh, yeah, we just got to see Dallas versus Guangzhou. And honestly, not a bad look from the charge with their mm -hmm. quote unquote new ish roster there. But obviously, man, look, Dallas is just on top right now. They beat Infernal yesterday. They're the best team in the region currently. So no surprise there that they took it away. And yeah, not just beating Infernal, but 3 zeroing them as well. We we definitely had like, is Cyber going to be a banger or Infernal going to 3 0? I don't think anyone really predicted for Dallas Fuel to make the big sweep because obviously Dallas Fuel, they'd only really played against some contenders teams, some weaker Overwatch League teams, I believe one of them, and suddenly come out there, decimate Infernal, which means that Infernal are coming a little bit more mad today, but we also need to pay respect to the fact that they are at home with L Infection uh poor mag got covid so not playing from usual facilities it's a little bit of a different look for yeah. the infernal oh mag looked pretty good yesterday covid or no he, uh, he was still playing fine so again news for infernal today is that their level of competition is definitely going to be a little bit easier than the dallas fuel by uh, probably quite a margin actually panthera they've been uh probably more on the struggling side i think panthera so far um what's their record one in three so yeah. not amazing they, they would they like to improve that charge. record, but uh, I don't know if they can do it versus Infernal. This would be a hard one to try and improve their record on. Yeah, th this is going to be a toughie, and Infernal and Dallas Fuel are actually both in the future of Panthera. Their more winnable matches are going to be against O2 Blast and Poker Face. So uh, for Panthera, it's a rough road ahead, and the dream of drawing even, going 4-4 four and four in our group stage here, or rather our qualifiers, means that they have to beat either Dallas or Infernal, eyeing an opportunity. Panthera wants to turn their fortunes around against an Infernal. We yeah, they, they have been staggered a little bit, both by in-game and out-of-game consequence. I oh, mean, it's one of those things where, like, because the, the flip side of the coin is that Infernal come in a little madge today, and that is, you know, angry power is going to be fueling them up to look for uh, a clean win i think because they would not have been happy about the result yesterday versus dallas fuel given that uh, you know their, their record versus dallas has been pretty good generally speaking this year last year um and infernal up until yesterday held the top spot in the region so won't be pleased about giving that one away and still plenty of opportunity to at least maintain second if not uh, better than that if dallas end up tripping up at some point Better believe that Soul Infernal will be right there to catch up and overtake. Let's go ahead and meet the team. certified banger absolute banger rabble here's a look at the faces mag recovering but didn't really need to recover from too much yesterday playing pretty well against the dallas fuel and this has been a big breakout year for mag coming off of runaway we expect a lot from him uh didn't perform as well on the washington justice soul infernal really feels like the roster where mag's been set up to succeed and a big part of that is skewed behind him who's also coming out of a shadow playing understudy for Shu, for so long on the LA Gladiators having to play the Brig, we didn't get to see just how good Skewed is at these flex supports, and this is the year when people are finding out, and they are finding out quickly. I feel like yesterday was the first time that we really felt that Soul Infernal was staggered a little bit, and now, deeper into the year, see how they will bounce back if they do at all. You're starting a lineup for Panthera themselves, sitting at a 1-3. and three. The only game win so far, match victory has been versus the Guangzhou Charge that was in a three and two and if i'm not mistaken that would have been the last time that we saw you know both piggy and choice one on the team as well and um funnily enough that was also you know developers on this roster and he played up against his old team so there is that consider now yeah, develop, develop, develop still on the support position today 
I mean, hey, if you're good at the scoped heroes, the science says you should be good at Ana too, right? And develops most of them playing the Ana, of course. A bunch of standard comps from these teams. We don't really expect too much uh, shenanigans, too many messes around when it comes to the compositions from these guys. And develops certainly want to keep an eye on both uh, a member of the Guangzhou Charge previously and a member of the Shanghai Dragons during their championship run, but never really got much playtime. Moon believed in the scout for this hit scan, and it's a good look at the tracer input thus far. A lot of raw damage from Becky, which might indicate that Panthera want to play a little bit more to try and pressure those Winstons because the eliminations are a little lower to go with that damage. So good meta for Becky, though. Well known for his echo play last year on the valleys, and now. We are in a pseudo echo meta, a lot of friendly echo maps. The map was quite good for that particular hero. We saw it today, we saw it yesterday. I'm hoping, probably expecting that we'll see it today as well. Zest not shying away from that battle. He'll definitely take up the mantle. So yeah, Tracer and also the, the, the echo being played, I think between the two of them. Um, and Thera though, as a team, I think the rest of the team, there is some individual power in them. Can they hold it together as a as a full man squad? And you know, you mentioned develop there. We talked a little bit about him. Still question marks on the support position. Not his normal role. Yeah, we have seen a, a lot of players move from flex support or hit scan over to support in recent years. Uh, a Babel or Babel on uh, gladiators Lads. being one of them. Uh, who moved from like I believe playing DPS oh, for the Spitfire during their ill fate oh, yeah. in 2020. And then on O2 Blast afterwards. So and he, uh, by the time he joined O2, he was already a support. Because he was on, uh, he was playing DPS on BM Hawk after London. Mm -hmm. and then he moved to support for O2 and then joined the Overwatch League again on Glad as a support. Ah, plenty of uh, swap arounds to try and take up those positions from so many players. And it, it's been, it's been a mixed, <laughs> it's been a mixed results. Hoping that Develop could find his place on this. I'd love to see Develop just rotate back to a hit scan sometime for a big surprise, but obviously our meta really I is mean, leaning in towards those. It's nice then, Becky, though. It's yeah. a difficult one because I think Nice is still super underrated. I feel like every time I talk about Nice, I got nothing but praises to talk about this guy. And, and I, I've noticed in previous years when he was on T1 as well, so man, Nice is like a guy that needs to be looked at again for a potential shot. I think Becky performed quite well last year on the Valiant. Still a decent play today. So we saw Mag and the Infernal. Obviously, you play a reasonable amount of Brawl. They'll be bringing that Brawl out once again for Control Center. What's interesting is that Panthera, even for Control Center, are not going to opt for any type of Ryan composition or Ram composition. Yeah, this is the map where you would expect the, the Ram or the Ryan to almost be mandatory. Just slamming into Panthera here. That's a huge anti coming through from Develop. And that's going to allow for the counter punch to be solid. And let's pick up on your point about Nice there, because Nice is actually a player who is deeply familiar to the Soul Infernal management, especially like Rost, and was a huge part of uh, Fusion Uni for a long time. Uh, and was picked up, I believe, to Toronto to fight in the Overwatch League. There's a yeah. lot of potential for this player, and hoping to get noticed here at least and do even more damage. Well, good that both Nice and Vicky can pick up the Tracer so it gives them the flexibility to play comps like this. Tracer and Echo, we talked about the fact that Echo would likely be seen today. I just didn't think it was going to come through on Control Center, but they did take away the first fight, so well done there. Is Zest sleeping, but it's actually up him down. Zest is going to get executed there. The follow-up on the sleep, very nice. Is Nice looking for even more now, but that map is scary when it comes to dueling. I'm going to swap here over to the Cassidy. It's interesting. Plenty of right clicks being sent into the Winston. Just try and maximize DPS. Well, you need to be able to have some out. Anti-dive to counter-dive in some stages. And yeah, the mag grenade's going to be able to do that. Still plenty of kills coming through from Panthera. They're doing a great job pushing away this ball composition. Still leading in the percentage of the actual cap itself. Leg death onto MN3. Ultimate still coming online. Ultimate's being held. Further usage. Zest, by the way, also swapped over towards the Sabra. So slowly Inferno are actually moving towards their own pseudo die. Well, it really, it's just the one hero, but they've at least got the Sombra online. Oh, a spot there on the Sombra. The detection does mean there is someone going around the corner. Duplication onto a bat. Yeah, he's already gone. No chance, mate. You ain't sticking around here. Dead Eye, ready to go, if so required. You want to go behind that window. There is not going to be too much healing available. Scoot's already been beaten to a pulp by Arpen. The exodus of the Baptiste is not a gracious one, as MN3 simply has to wait for the stickies to explode. It's a grim fate that awaits him in Tartarus, and he meets it readily. Just lots of ultimates being spent by Panthera, but also the tempo playing as well. 
straight into basically the spawn doors to choke all the soul infernal and only now we're starting to see some more of those infernal ultimates come online skew drop the window in that play but up and straight in the back line primal ready to go and there can they tank this one all the way they'll hit the 99 for sure but this is where infernal is strong look at the ultimates online now plus an emp drops on four beautiful kill to becky and that could be the back line falling as well it's got to be everyone Ooh, that, might be, that might be an overinvestment of a shadow if you have to ask me especially when arpin put down the shield rather early mag could have potentially got a free kill on to either develop or slee in a future fight with that mn3 is being a little bit reticent about using this dead eye maybe looking for a reload instead because it could be of limited usefulness being said though there's not much that blocks it outside of arpin's bubble it's free pickings for mn3 so even as a zoning tool i know we joke about that but legitimately good zoning tool Let's see if he connects with the mag grenade because it's pretty good at taking down every single flanker on line for pants there dropping becky down the ground as well grab him and drop him half end for now working forward as skew trying to play in a more reserved position just making himself a touch harder to die but look at this and they are slowly working those margins evaporating the space forcing a response yes mn3 going to be the secondary target here after forcing out skew so the healing's not there and nice is going to be able to find the back on the back anyway i swap over to orion heart and i'll take a double main tank versus one any day Panthera with control of the point is going to maintain contestation courtesy of Zest. There was no one else here to try and keep it going. Panthera coming out swinging. Yeah, nothing else there. So Infernal, they lose players early. MN3 just gets taken down by Becky. Up and receives a nano. So Infernal, maybe you, I think you were probably right about the Earth Shadow usage there from Matt. He could have had an extra Earth Shadow for that particular fight, which could have turned things around. Wouldn't have saved MN3 though. Outside of Skewed, having that lamp ready to go. MN3 just got popped by Becky. See if that's what happened here in the replay. I think this is how Vicky got the kill. Oh my god, it's just a long range sticky love. He didn't even have to really commit. Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, that's a lamp now. Look how late the lamp was. It didn't end up saving anyone because everyone's out of the AOE of the lamp at, at the final hour. I mean, by the end of that play. So wow. Shocking loss for Soul Inferno in round one, considering control center is meant to be super favor for brawl and they got to bring up the brawl again but this time on gardens which is i think a lot less favorable this is even nightmare of the three this is probably the least favorable of the rounds for a brawl call. let's talk like panthera as well these guys have never won an opening map an opening control zero and four across all of their matches thus far soul inferno a little bit more tasty 60 percent wins there this was supposed to be an easy come out and punch to begin with it's taking a good amount of poke here to that's a risky fly to take, but MN3 having to reload is a saving grace for the airborne Omnic. I think a lot more open sight lines for MN3, so ironically for the Soul Infernal, although I don't really like the ball for all this particular map, I think for MN3 personally, he should be able to find more success, at least in the damage. And we'll see if he stays alive though, because he has been a target for Becky so far. Speaking of targets, it's going to be Art then. Drilled down by Skewed, and that's the opening advantage that Infernal's been waiting for to be Panthera having to let go. Yeah, check out Mag just holding up that shield as well on the other side, just making sure the developer could not deliver any heals to Arpen, bisecting Panthera and making sure it would be an unsupported dive. That's going to be skewed on first ultimate. He actually had first ultimate for control center as well, but I don't know that he was able to get too much done there. And online here, which is likely for Arpen. Becky's got his second life ready to go, just about. Once again, blocking off the heels. Magnus is exactly what his job is here. The window means plenty of damage coming through. And Becky tries his luck getting close there. You're going to need to wake up earlier in the morning than that if you're going to try and get through a Reinhardt shield fixer on the chase. And Arpen is simply forced to watch. Let the Winston watch. Respect the fact that Mag just holds up shield there as well and allows him in three to shoot. He wasn't interested in swinging. He would have allowed way too much damage. And as you mentioned, potentially healing to come on through. So, just let your DPS do the work, and our DPS have the ultimates online. Really good timing for the Blizzard. If the fight gets dragged over towards the point, which, by the way, the Panthera is moving, they've gone White Room. It does seem that way, and m 3 what a headshot. Start things off. Big thing coming through. Still going to be a Primal Rage. It's instantly evaporated. He's been absolutely scragged by the Soul Infernal. Couldn't last a second as nice. Still doesn't see an opening to use this fossil. He's looking out for the immortality field, looking out for the ice block, but they're not easy to force without a big commit. Well, that was just the opposite of what we saw in Control Center, right? Where M3 gets stickied long range by Becky this time. 
It's a headshot from MM3 to take Becky out of the fight. And he's not been able to use the duplicate just yet. He's held on to this one for a reasonable while. This is one of the earlier ultimates. Not for the May. Gives the opportunity for a Blizzard. But speaking of which, Zest still dropped the Blizzard first. That's going to cause some major issues for Panthera Slate. Slower, I think, on the rally, and no nano available for development. This is the last fight as well. You need the support ultimate to develop. It's still waiting. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Becky is going to relieve the pressure just a touch. Touches the valve. And this is going to give a little bit more opening. Do you need to use the nano? Or you may never know. The Doomfist has arrived. We talked ill now. a bit before, but Arpen might be able to change our minds about this one. Boosted up by the wall. Multiple players hit by the punch. And it forces out the immortality field here as Panthera vanished to flip the point around. Still soul feeling nice. Pet patient in this fight. Got to worry about getting knocked off that free check. It's always going to be in the back of their mind. Arpen forced down to the ground. The counter charge. Is easy. All the assists in the world to kill the Doomfist, but there's no assistance for MN3. Still, none needed. It's going to be the cleanup from Zest, which should be ending this round here. Yeah, lots of frags coming from Zest, and it's like an attempt to boop off the map as well. One of the few players surviving is going to be Becky on minimal HP. Gets away, but for how long is Zest will still take the scout in the matter? Cap hasn't come on in though. Panthera hold the cap currently. That's going to give some time, enough time for Nice to try and delay. But after the cap comes in, we're into instant OTR pin. No time to swap straight back on the Doomfist. And while the kills don't stop, Zest has gotten, I think he's got a delayed ace here. It's, it feels like he's got about five kills in the span of that last fight. Crazy stuff from Solomon Infernal to bring themselves back into this. Panthera. <sighs> Avril, do you actually have any words about the Doomfist? How does it fit into all of this? Well, like, he had to he had to go over Doom yeah? to quickly come back in. So, you know, it it... It's one of those square pegs that was sledgehammer straight into the round hole because, well, Panthera, you got to touch, you got to commit for the OT. Winston probably too slow. Mm. Doom, faster character. It is what it is, really. I think the real missing piece was the slower rally to come on through and develop missing the nano. The nano was 5%, 10% off of timing. And so those things would have been very important for what was essentially the last fight. I mean, that final fight, quote unquote, lasted for a very long time. Because Panther actually did get the cap, they basically, uh, I wouldn't say they back capped it, but they took it out from Soul Infernal's noses. Soul yeah, Infernal in charge, though, they had, all the, they had all the damage and they had all the frags. Zest, again, I think he got about five kills in that last engagement. Super difficult to generate that rally when you are faced with the Reinhardt. He's holding up his shield to try and mitigate incoming whip shots, even though that's not the primary thing he's doing. He's mostly holding off develops healing, but also, Slay can't hit a whip shot through the barrier so it means that getting that inspire proc even harder the inspire uptime right now for slay is only 35 percent going up against this brawl comp is a such a dangerous proposition as a brigita and it has that knock-on effect where you're taking two minutes to build a rally in this map well that's the price you pay if you want some reliable long-range healing for both your tracer and your echo you also want something that can do a good job of protecting developer I, mean, I think we've seen teams Swap the brig over to a Kariko in these types of matchups as well, mm -hmm. where you are playing dive versus a brawl. Yeah, and you being have to able to play that, those you know, off angles with relative safety, pretty important. Yeah, yeah, and you're you're much harder to kill, I think. And the Suzu has great counter ability to save your team from shatters, from blizzards, mm -hmm. even from dead eye timings, from mag nades as well. So a, a lot of uh, great applications for the Suzu. But you, you, you can kind of add like. Almost like how double snipers play crossfire. You play like crossfire heals onto your tank where both of you can't be blocked by the same kind of like very defensive playstyle that Mag was playing where all he did was just make sure that Arpane can't receive any healing the second that he moves behind the 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 tropic of Reinhardt. Once you sail past it, well, you're not getting any heals. That's why you throw the cookies over the shield. Yep. That's what the brig brings to the table. Let's take a look at how the headshot onto Vicky came on in. So body shot into a headshot. That was kill number one. That's upsetting as well because Vicky had ultimate. Also, how fast Arpin gets deleted in the prime one. Man, that thousand HP dropped like it was nothing. Yeah. The the fan of the hammer, no matter what your uh, ranked teammates say, pretty good for maximizing DPS against the tank if you really need it in that issue. Panthera still sticking with standard with the exception of course of yeah. I think there was a real chance that Panthera would have been baited as well because Inferno will now play Brawl twice in a row. There's a non-zero chance to play the game for round three, especially given that Night Market I think is more favorable than even Gardens. So it'll be dive versus dive and Arpen dives straight to his death, I think. Oh, but Zest catching many of those stickies. It's again, but Becky is being able to find these onto the smaller targets and deliver the damage. Still MN3 able to farm a second longer. 
It's all Infernal should be in a position to grab the first control here and they can play defensively, but they don't really have the personnel to reclaim this space. Well, they just have to be able to keep Mag up at least, who's taking a lot of damage right now. Even with the Byronade defensively, it's a lot of HP to heal back in. So at least going to give Skewed a bit of an advantage on the ult charge. But while that's all happening, Zest solos the back line. A little bit of help from MN3 and probably the entire cleanup once Slayer develop are taken care of. And but the opening cap already going the way of Inferno. They're now snowballing handedly. EMP coming online as well. Yeah, big 3-2 split from them. Zest and MN3 taking care of that backline trade while Mag and Fixer Skewed essentially playing tower defense. Just making sure that their main tower in Mag does not fall. And then for the primal. The tower is going to be a fortress in the next fight. Might be a quick one though if the EMP drops down well. Not a lot to defend against it at this stage. No rally just yet. Spotted is going to be the entire backline. She's going to solo to Becky. Yeah, that should no nana to save him. Yeah, quickly takes away that health pack as well. Knowing exactly where that recall is going to be. Nice. Still gets plenty of cookies. Out goes, goes a pretty pulse ambitious pulse, pulse bomb. Yeah, just a little bit of an ego play from Zest. But hey, that's how you get those player of the matches. BB up and went too deep. No ability to be healed. And you know that Mag's cutting that one off as well. Just gets on top of develop and make sure that there's no real reason for him to stay in. In a previous uh, post-match interview, Zest has stated that he goes for the Tracer Pulse Bombs as a tool in a form of mental warfare. So engaging Psyops. the mental warfare against Neist in this particular game. Started early. Becky, oh again, in trouble. I think that Which might have been worth a dupe onto the Winston, but it'll just be a reset instead for Pantheran. And they're losing time. It's going to be final fight now. Real strong. One fight to rule them all. Panthera do have five ultimates, but where can they use them? On the point would be a good start. Yeah, that would be a great start. Banano Winston. Oh, look at how they're positioning away from a the point. They're trying to drag people away to make sure that it's going to be an undermanned fight. The right click onto a translocator, but this rally though, might well be outplayed here. Mag pops the primal rage over in the corner. No one's going to wake him on up, but the remainder of Soul Infernal have come into the meat grinder, and Panther are more than happy to try and use their resources to bring this one down. A small area with an echo in it doesn't allow for too much in the way of that, but I believe Becky dies to his own stickies there. Just get yeah, well, stuck, runs him into the echo. He still kills Zest. So you talk about echoes into the side rooms and small spaces. No way to really fly when... Those stickies get run straight back into you. That was a risky situation for Panthera because Arpen has to die for the point. He receives the nano, doesn't get to really use it as Inferno just scatter. He'll get the back cap ready to go, but Inferno should have won the five versus four. And unfortunately, she couldn't. And now, trying to solo EMP onto Arpen, but he's got the primal ready. There just wasn't enough damage to kill the fan. Great response from Panthera. Now they're playing from these defensive positions. MM3 forced to extricate himself. Panthera can now play defensively with a, with a dupe. M3 loves those solo EMPs on the tanks. Unfortunately, you're going to need a lot more damage to get that tank down before the primal can be played. I mean, they got the nano timing right, so develop wasn't going to end up saving up in. But there, I've got two good fights in a row now. The nano coming online and a duplicate available while EMP is down and further on a weaker stage of the current team power. Double Winston could be a reality. Oh, Becky's feeling. Oh, sneaky around the back. Nice. Three versus one. It's just not fair on the guy trying to keep this defended. The stick straight into the Brigitte shield does keep a little bit more available here. As Pantera were looking for that back line. What a sleep! The rally's just going to be having a little nap. Rally to me. We'll have a lovely little nap together. The slay. Lovely shot to the back of the head. There's so much healing available. Yes, they need to touch the point, but Infernal for now. Building up towards that nano. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a Anna play in the old watch league receive an Anna, not give one. He received one. <laughs> and up at third look like they'll receive the win as well. Backline for Infernal Dead. Mag still looking for the primal. Do they have the firepower? It doesn't really look like it. You need the EMP. You need the primal. And Mag oh, is 1% away. And he's not going to oh, get it. It's up end coming from the back. Punch to the back of the head. They never saw the Alpha Gorilla coming. Still, Soul Infernal now in control over time, of course. Does mean Panthera have to peel on back. And now for this final fight, it's going to be EMP versus coming. Rally. Next comment should be enough time to touch Zest initiates it. The fact that Panther did not get the cap earlier in that fight means they're not going to take away the map of the round just yet. And now Mag does actually get to play the primal. Super important ultimate fixer, by the way, swapped over towards a Moira, but straight back into spawn as he EMP has to be the tool now. Looking at M and 3 he's got to save the day. It's cute to fix it down. No support, no tank. Oh, he's been forced. He's been forced out. This might be it for the Soul Inferno. The translocator could be enough. Oh, it's just no. a firework, but it's a sad one. As Panthera in the essential dive mirror managed to steal one away from the Soul Infernal.
and also get their first ever control win so far in the season as well. They go from 0-4 to 1-4 in terms of map statistics and win rate on that particular game mode. So that's definitely the improvement for Panther. And they get to come back from, was it a 0-99 on this as well? It was a very critical and brutal start considering yeah. how far behind they were. Soul Inferno had this one in their hands, I gotta say, and they let it slip out. Slippery fingers, butter fingers. Soul are going to want this one back, but there's plenty more series to play here at the Overwatch League East qualifiers. We'll see how it goes after this break. Welcome back to the Overwatch League here and Panthera are going to be able to take away map number one after a 0-99 to comeback on Lee Jung Tower and Night Market that was looking real tough for Panthera but they pulled through 
Yeah, it was a huge pull through from Panthera. We saw the clutch kill onto Mag come through from Arpen, but you've likely heard recently that heroes can. The question is, can Soul Infernal in what are some tough circumstances, but still we think that this is a match where their power level should almost comically outstrip Panthera. And yet here we are, 1-0 down with Soul Infernal. It's not been a great week for them. The load been... bearing almost in their settings there. <laughs> Almost. Oh. There will be some more echo play on this map. That should be assured. And Barney, I think, is one of the key echo maps that we have in the pool. So Becky is likely to lock that in. Will Zest follow through? Because at the same time, I think uh, Infernal have been pretty keen to just play standard dive. Sombra Tracer. Did that happen. What? There's the time for Zest to match up on the echo, as I believe he did in a previous match. I'm trying to remember which other infernal game we saw that i think it might have been was it possibly sparkle versus zest could have been one of them they did opt out of it on dorado yesterday we decided not to go for that where sparkle really wanted to i believe earlier in our summer qualifiers we have seen might have been lee Becker. versus zest maybe i'm trying to remember but it is difficult there's been a lot of games but in any case he'll have a likelihood to bring it out here if that's what infernal want to do Easy access to the high ground for the Echo, but of course, when attacking, you are going to be consistently harangued and harried by the uh, by the Sombra. We saw MN3 doing pretty well on that as she there was some... Oh? Genji's not bad on this map either. I think we did see who are you. Was, who are you was it another player. Again, I'm, I'm tripping right now. It's, it's definitely an O2 game. I think it was O2 versus Guangzhou. And yeah, I think Choi Sihuan pulled it out. Surprise me. Um, F. F. He's <laughs> LFT, guys. I hope he, I hope he lands there somewhere. Anyway, yeah, there's gonna be Soul Infernal, Trace of Sombra. So they're not gonna lock in the Echo, but as I suspected, Becky will. Yeah, plenty of defensive areas to play from here for Becky. Loads of free poke to have from the high ground. Remember, it's more difficult for the Sombra to access that. You've got to spend significant time setting up here if you're Soul Inferno with some uh, more lateral DPS like the Tracer and the Sombra. So a lot of early work needed to be done here in terms of positioning to allow the dive to actually take place. And part of that is M3 and Zest setting up the back lane, but I don't think they were able to connect that together with Mag. And speaking of connection, that's nicely on the arc. They probably won't get the kill because he's got a jump available. We'll jump away safely. Yeah, Panthera constantly in this loop of just putting pressure on Soul Infernal so that Soul can't comfortably set up that dive and allow for Mag to have a free timing onto that back line. Now Zest caught down on the low ground. Escape is going to be fairly easy with those blinks in and out. Becky just bullies away Mag. This ultimate should be coming online shortly. Develop leading skewed slightly at this point, but both largely the same. So Nano for Nano trade. Both RP and Mag to receive. Mag's doing a lot of damage, though. It's very likely that Mag farms the primal off this nano once it does become used. It could be a bit of a difference maker in the next fight, but actually the first ult is going to be the duplicate. That's interesting. Oh, Mag ideas to use the primal. Couldn't receive the nano, but the LOS was too hard. Our pen so low. Develop, does he want to try and use it? Yes, indeed. They're going to invest, but actually it's going to hit Slay. Or rather, it's going to hit our pen. Slay has to use the rally to stay in this fight much help to try and work with but those constant procs on the inspire are going to slowly build it back up Ooh, nice. Zest goes for a stick decimates some of arpen's health but not enough to remove him from this a lovely pick up at the mini pack and arpen's good to go again it's nice to have a back line now looking to try and turn this around it's been a huge investment for soul infernal four ultimates already used only mn3 remains you ain't going nowhere son arpen says i don't have your exit clause in a contract mate you're locked in for life well, he did have to spend a primal for that one but he made it look good a little bit of primal juggling on the opposing main tank. That'll be something Mag will remember for the next fight. EMP now going to be the tool for the subsequent fight. And MN3 already positioned for that. He likely is not going to reveal himself. I actually got two picks in the situation as well. I think he might have just been spotted there. In either case, with translocating away, he loses his positioning on the back line, which is a bit of a sore point for MN3. They'll have to set that one up again for Soul Inferno to actually get this dive. 69% thus far for Soul Inferno. It's been a nice attempt, Spot but again. nice ain't enough. Damn, my God. The, the scouts are just so strong. And it just kills the Soul Infernal momentum. They're doing so much to try and get Zest upon this high ground. And they've got the UAV. They've got three kills in a row. They do. They've got the drones, man. Maybe an EMP here. Oh, he just walked past developed. Yeah, just moves on by. 
very rare place for a fight to actually happen the duplicate here on the Anna. it's crazy from becky doesn't get themselves a nano and now uh, this is not going to be the most oh, effective usage skewed. of a nano but it does at least keep fixer alive skew decides to go for that one emp as well it's a big investment from soul infernal but they're done messing around here on point a they wish to enter the streets well defended by skewed and fixer i mean they got assaulted upon by two members including arpen as Becky duplicating onto the Anna as well. I mean, I think the duplicate was basically in response to the fact that he was kind of dying there, but got taken out of the dupe and then killed by Skewed. And that was just a two-man play between the two supports. And I don't want to say they counted Becky and Arpan, but they certainly were able to win that trade. And meanwhile, Eamon3 on the point, finally deploys an EMP catches too, and it's enough to win the cap. So, Infernal, they'll get there eventually. Not a lot of time left, but still competitive enough. No kill to Becky here, but... Lots of free pushing in any case. Yeah, a little bit easier maybe for Zest to try and make some moves onto the high ground now. With there's more covered means to get in. This is a hacked pack here, so it's not going to be ideal. Zest also going to miss his bomb. It goes down towards the bottom, and no one's there to receive it. Becky's so low. Still, Cookie should be delivered to the bakery. Open for business, and Slay, he do be cooking. I believe uh, Cookie's are made at the bakery. Actually, uh, they created there. Yeah. To the... Oh, on the cookie tree. That's yes, science, that's, you picked off the tree. That's correct. <laughs> Freshly grown. I should stay oh. alive here. Both primal and nano available from Panthera. Well, they could also just back out. Depends on how much space they want to lose. And that is going to end up being the call. They'll back away. Allow the payload to push freely. It's also, by the way, allows M3 to walk up and put himself in position for an EMP. And if a rally. Now it's Slay who has to go down and try and fight on the point. The rally... He's going to soon expire, and getting onto his point is going to be real difficult. It's up in from the back, but they can't touch the point in time. Oh, Panthera. Big dreams, but in the end, little gained. Uh, it was Arpen as well. He was, I uh, want well, no one touched, but Arpen at the primal, he was trying to go for it. He was maybe off by half a second, and sometimes it's all it takes. They have the ability to stay further in. I mean, the primal was basically running out, sure, but nano and duplication were available. At minimum, I think you forced the EMP. Will allow you to defend C point with a lot more ease. Which now I'm in three can basically deploy on the back line here. He's got a tasty couple of targets and go for either of the supports, maybe both. The problem is he won't be able to link up with Zest because it's too deep end. Just go for the no, Zest arrives anyway. Wow. But they don't Gosh. get the kill. Strong positioning from Develop just plays that corner. Tucks in, thinks thin, and Soul Infernal can't claim their man. And we don't want to stick around to try and fight Slay either. Becky, duplicate, still here. Arpen might not have much in the way of escape. The body block too strong as Mag just boops him back in. And now all you've got to do is get rid of Nice. So the Psyop so won't away. work, man. He's a psychological warrior. Nice but I'm afraid so you're going to need... <laughs> you're going to need more of an intimidation to get past Nice in the morning, my guy. That actually was the purest psychological worth I've ever seen. Don't worry, Scooter's got the shot. He can kill a Tracer from long range, that's for sure. Now the Nano's up, and they're in a bit of a bothersome spot here, but Arpen can still get the final. He needs to live. Arpen desperately needs to live, but he can't. And Becky, he's duped over towards the so No, they don't even touch. Never mind. Ah, oh, you got the translocator on the cart. You could see it just there. Unfortunately, simply no time to take it. I think they it. lose anyway. Yes. But it does hurt a little <laughs> bit more to not touch. I think they were going to lose anyway, but it still hurts. Ah, uh, actually, still, excuse, excuse they would have lost. Again. They would have lost anyway, but they probably would have dragged the timer down slightly more. Mm. Skewed right now, twelve point one k healing for ten. Man's going crazy. Compared to oh, so develop, this, this is the two v two we saw earlier. Oh, damage on Becky. They, so they just get rid of the duplicate and just boom. Shoot Becky in the face. Demon. A real demon when it comes to the quick scope. I mean, the Anna's is so important when it comes to just containing the offensive potential of the echo because that damage is substantial 75 I mean, per hit i think in most normal cases skewed and fixer should have died there at minimum it's a one for one trade they both lived and then they both ended up assisting in the actual fight that gets them the cap that situation should have been soul infernal trying to cap their supports are locked out panthera they essentially kill both supports they start losing the point, but they maybe can still go back and touch in time and do all of those things and grind the fight out into victory because Soul Infernal have no supports. I mean, Arpen and Becky made good moves, but they just somehow lost the 2v2 to two supports. That's really well played by Scooter Fixer. Zest. Deathless so far, by the way. 
Definitely a huge part of why Soul Inferno, even when losing time at the beginning, lost out on a good amount of that, uh, that car push because it was constantly being skirmished upon by Zest and forcing Nice out of his positions. Now, I like the Echo a lot more than the attack and the defense. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, because the ability to assault the high ground is way more important than Becky just shooting from high to low in the defense. Both are good, but attacking side is more useful. Yeah, and, and playing you can... defensive somber as well so he's gonna need a i mean it's very difficult for him to really get into the back i don't think inferno gonna make any aggressive dives here they're gonna wait to play the hack defensively wait for and jump in and they're gonna after now i just tries to instead get a little bit of progress on the point drag back maybe someone else to try and deal with this skew keeps his cool it's a nade on the ground as mag is just gonna make sure there's a little bit more skirmishing for high ground keep that attention for a touch longer nice definitely needs a heal i think it's a cookie that's gonna be received yeah, there's Zest getting his first death thus far. Quick escape from Mags. It's but a flesh wound, so Skewed should be able to heal it on up. But re-engagement here. Definitely on the cards for Soul Inferno. No, we're going to cool this one. I think if Mag was a little bit healthier, a little bit earlier, they would have probably needed MN3 or Zest to be able to go for the touch first and Mag to follow through. But um, it's a lot of plays to be alive for Infernal to unfortunately give the point away. And that's a huge time bag as well. I remember that uh, Infernal only had about three minutes going to be. But they're of over five. So it's a gigantic gap in terms of how quick we cap A. This generation of EMP. Uh, he noted on the exit, but you never know, develops on top of things there. He's playing such a safe position. Mag, no need to get the healing. Didn't have LOS for Nano to be delivered. Soul Infernal. Now with that attack, they're going to be losing huge amounts of space in droves. Hello. EMP. So no nano, unfortunately. Develop might not have had the LOS, and that is one of the times that they'll be able to catch Arpen. No primal. It should have been a risky play from MN3, considering the existence of the nano, but no idea where Develop was in that play. In case of Infernal trying to Zest pull this one back is intimidating Becky so much. He's so scared, and there's every reason why you should be. Oh, that is an MVP candidate well. right there. Yeah, he wanted the duplicate, but hey, Zest has got the schmooze. Yeah. He keeps Zest out of the LOS. One that got so away, again, it's, it's another kill coming through from Soul Infernal. Just pushing Panthera back, just reducing the time. It's important because noted the basically two minute gap that Panthera have in terms of advantage. But there's still a lot of ultimates. So Primal's gone, Pulse gone, EMP gone. Now Panthera's still on four. Starting to get some distance again. I can see them really capping on this push. And a slow game for Nanos. Meticulous looking for maximum value, or at least the ability to potentially save your Winston. There it is, straight up into the back. Becky actually receives it. What a oh sleep! <laughs> There's no way Skewed is a magician! This guy's a wizard! It's Skewed the Grey, but he's got all the powers of post Balrog battle. Becky wants revenge onto Zestia. You stuck me before, you didn't let the duplicate happen. I'll try and chase you out here. It's even more sleeps, but no touches coming through. Does Panthera get enough space even while they catch Becky napping? Well, that's the thing. Even with Becky down for a wee while and skewed hitting a really nice sleep dart, the rest of Panthera just have such a high amount of ultimates to play in. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Double support ult has been thrown in there. Arpen diving in deep with Becky. Taking space, and the payload was already facing at the end. So a difficult defense for the Infernal too be able to muster against they would have needed to get some frags but i don't think they got a single one develop under a little bit of pressure here looking to die yep certainly and the other supporters want to follow if you want to die i know someone who can help you out Zest. brutal when it comes to those you one yeah managed to pick up the mega just about and let's have a quick look at this time back four minutes for panthera but they are going to get kind of stuck in the weeds now it's going to be difficult to try and dislodge Zest from his high ground move to go for a 1v2 yeah. of both Becky and Nice. Well, you got to get past some of these good defensive ultimates in the EMP and the Nano. So, Pulse is gone, but that was the free ultimate that you'll get. I think he managed to still fly away slightly as he gets hacked in there. All of this is still slow down, though. So, the fact that MN3 just holds the EMP over Panthera without committing just yet. Forcing Panthera back with just manual hack. It's lost time. No payload push. They want Arpen. And they get him. Didn't even need to hit the uh, the anti there. It's more than enough to just get that Sombra damage through and have a cleanup. It's demanded, and Mag is ready to answer to Oh, that is a nice sleep. In the corner, beautiful sleep. I'm afraid you're going off the map though, bud. Wait, hold up. Grippy toes on the side, but they're not enough. Mag is uh, 
Gonna take his anger on to develop the same anger he had for MCD in his previous match. Out of three minutes now. So it's definitely getting more difficult for Panther. At the same time though, they're once again building up a huge bank of ultimates that they can get to the end with. The only issue now is that their distance is not as good as it was on B at the same position when they had the ultimates. It's five ults, so something has to happen. They have to have a big fight now. But even if they win this, I think there's another fight ahead just based on the position of payload. Critical mass of energy here for Panthera. But can they find their Oppenheimer moment? It's good for now. Playing defensively caught on both sides, but makes a vertical exit instead. It's well considered Max here just to try and plug up the gaps. It's going to get isolated now by the Primal Rage, but still there's LOS for the Nano. Plenty of resistance to the damage. Vixer decimated even through the rally. Rally to me, yeah, don't mind if we all do. We'll be very happy to. Three on one, on. Panthera. They have the cleanliness with their dives. They're calling the targets well, but Mag's got plenty of HP on the other side, and Zest can come back in with a pulse bomb. Onto Sleer, onto Develop would be ideal. Now just has to concern himself with touching the car instead. There's only a meter to go. What a stick coming through from Nice, but he's already dead in the hands of other stickies. So much adhesive, so much explosive, but in the end, there's no gorilla to be seen. MM3 uses the EMP, and while he does die during, it might well be enough for Zest to try and find himself some magic. Fixer stuck to the car with blue a Brit stick on oh the my adhesive. Fixer three. What a crazy fight. Fixer was nearly dead as well. Just had the shield up in time to be able to block out the damage from the focusing beam, and if also for that, would have been drilled down by Becky, the EMP coming in to save them. It's up and down. Panthera, wow, oh, that should have been the cap, but now they might not cap at all. Time is really bad for them now. Taylor is slipping backwards. They don't really have anything coming online. Yeah, okay, the Nano is about to be there. That'll probably happen. Hopefully in the next 30 seconds. Inferno of nice delay tools. Memory. They got the Primal again, so Mag can just sit on payload. Not at risk of dying. This is definitely going the OT. As Mag catches this poke, he can go up towards the Nano as well. Just playing it slowly. No need to overextend into Panthera, get themselves slept. MN3, noted, but Sixth has already fallen. That's going to make contesting this car a little bit harder. As you said, it's Mag's responsibility now with the Primal Rage. Arpen, just forcing Fix out of this zone, hiding away inside. It's going to be easy to stay alive. And we'll slay oh, down as well. Duplicate. This one's done. I mean, the whole map might be done now. It's 20 seconds. It's nice to live. He's going to have to be. He'll have to go for the touch. No one else can really do it. Man, Panthera, they were really looking for the win. They were hunting for it. And guess what? Soul Fiddle sit on 4 ultimates. Plus, possibility of maybe even find the Nano. If Can they get Becky? He'll die before the dupe again. No, we finally get the dupe on a Sombra. Again, they need to go for this touch. It has to come down and nice. He'll get it with the stick as well. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, Fixer just about survives though. The rally gives him the HP that he needs. Arpen pops the primal rage, and yes, he's got access to his backline. But also has to moderate that with touching the cart. The EMP comes through from Becky finally at the end of the duplicate, but MN3's got one of his own. Assists are a plenty and kills even more. Soul Infernal hold for four and a half minutes on point C of Numbani. Yeah, I mean the, the five ultimate push from Panthera was probably the opportunity there. And what a save from MN3. Two-man EMP leading into Fixer getting a 3k in that scenario as well because by the way MN3 died upon using the EMP he died instantly yeah it came down to the rest of the team I think Zest and Fixer between them got about four kills and then someone respawned and got the fifth so Panthera nearly had it on that push but just barely had it slip through their fingers what a play from MN3 but Zest and Fixer what a map from them Fixer's just gone crazy just surviving so long on the producer including surviving that stick of a quick pop at the rally presence of mind is strong and soul infernal they may have taken a while to enter nippon but now they have finally achieved their demon mode can they sustain the ritual we'll find out after this break
There's the score line. Evened up now, one and one apiece. And a Numbani defense successful. That lasted a while. What did you say? 430. Four minutes something yeah. defense on C for Infernal. Four and a half minutes. It was in the palm of their hands. And honestly, it, it could have been so much faster because we didn't see a, as far as more a huge investment to try and take B after the Nano. They got like the sleep on Becky after the Nano Echo came out and then everyone else kind of got zoned away from the car. Could have found some momentum there potentially, but unfortunately for Panthera, four and a half minutes on Nimbani C very quickly drains away. Let's see if their luck favors them a little bit more on Route 66. And a map that uh, we, we saw this yesterday with who played this yesterday this was a map that we hadn't casted much of i think it was the o2 blast game yeah no versus dreamers that's right liga had he had a lot of fun on this map i think oh no it wasn't that game i'm lying uh i, I think we uh was that not, yeah it, it, was, it was the liga game they they, they spawn held with the diva and oh uh, sorry it was versus dynasty that's right we saw this dynasty yeah. versus dreamers yesterday and we, we saw the today. pop off because we know our pen's not gonna play it either is mag yeah. Is it going to be Hanzo, I, though? I'll tell you who plays a really Hanzo. good Hanzo. I can tell you who plays a really good Hanzo. Nice Hit. plays, a sick Hanzo. Really Ooh, good. You, you think able to go up against MN3? We saw we saw the Ash come through as well from Profit on the That's Dynasty. The thing is, I don't think MN3 is going to play. If he's going to play any sort of long range, he'll go straight to the Ash. That's what I think MN3 will do. Mm. If they do that at all. But actually, what I think is, I think Infernal will just keep playing Tracer Stormbird Dive. Yeah, I, I think that... Uh, there's not going to be too much onus to swap away from standard here. I don't even, even Panthera is going to... Yeah, they're not going to do anything special here either. Yeah. Defend normally. Actually, this is the first time we've seen Panthera play standard. They didn't play any nice Sombra on Lee Jung at all because they, they were doing Becky Echo the, the whole way through, no? So this will be our first look at Panthera today on this Tracer Sombra. This is a great look for a Sombra. So many easily accessible health packs, including under big girls and in cave. That's allowing for quite a bit of autonomous operation for some there's, reason. There's no way. Okay. M3 is not an echo play, so that would have been too strange for me to say. Yeah. Well, it would have been a bit much. Maybe hoping to just try and break any potential spawn holes with that aerial pressure. Becky under pressure himself here, but it's going to be a little bit of healing coming through from Nice. That hack, too much worry. Up it. Oh, up in slow speed. Just about gets LOS in time. No worries. All expected. Just more nano charge for develop. No Becky back in spawn. It does mean Infernal finally get to push, and they're gonna take some space as well. Speaking of the support slate. In trouble here. Under the pressure of Mag and develop down. Panthera in shambles. The opening defense are gonna have to go for a retake here. Especially with RPN down as well. Try to slow the payload down and Oh nice as caught as well. Yeah, nice as got. Water whip shot. Great reads from Fixer. Quick on the trigger with that just to make sure that there could be any lateral movement and dodging away from Nice. And MN3's got a significant lead on the EMP. Holding the choke here is all bubble even expanded. MN3, as you mentioned, I would like to see the MN3 EMP forced here. So Panthera should make a play just oh. to get the EMP out. This They're is not, not going to do that. It's going to give significant get momentum. And MN3 stole the Mega Resolve. <laughs> It just gets worse and worse for Panthera. Might need a little bit of mechanical clutch here just to try and counteract the huge amount of ultimates that Soul Infernal are going to have. Reaching critical mass themselves, they're almost five ultimates. And you can see just how good it is to try and play off this mega. It means that Skew doesn't have well, to overextend himself to look for those angles either. The problem with Infernal being on five ultimates is that uh, Panthera never made a recontest happen, so they couldn't force any ultimates out. And usually when you lose a point like this, you want to at least force the attacking team to spend something. And spin they will now finally EMP straight to develop death. It's gonna be a pulse bomb taking out Skew. The rally comes on through multiple stuns, but Fixer will be alone here. We've seen him clutch up the core with some friends by his side. It might well be workable. Arpen's got angry, but what he's got even more so is battered at the hands of Zest. Let's put a little bit of lemon on that, call it a gorilla state. Nice was uh, able to get out of that situation, but consolation prize for Panthera because once the opens start falling. Infernal that end up taking the W there. The payload continue to move forward. Still no slowdown this entire way through. We've really not seen the payload slow down at all. 
of course. Now we're going to nano play, but Mag has an extra primal to play with, so still more that Inferno have in their pocket. Maybe we should move in. Nice self heal there from Skewed, but is separated from Fix of a heals can't be delivered with Brigitte down. Now Skewed has to take aggressive angles. Becky finally finding himself some nice play here on Route 66. It's the first Becky Tracer we get to see today as well in this particular match because again he was playing Echo the entire way through, so uh, he finally gets to be the Tracer player face up against Zest and he'll take the back line of the Inferno all on his lonesome with a little bit of help from him. Nice back as well that's the first major reset and slowdown for the payload so they are getting a bit of a defense going after it was looking lackluster this skewed position very vulnerable to an anti nature saw it coming on in but skewed manages to dodge away or makes a block to the shield either way doesn't get what the developer was looking for and it will be a little bit more vulnerable to being dove that's why becky all over on top of zesh just making sure they can't make a path over to those more vulnerable supports it's for stick baby it's for zest special you know that the psyop is real you know that the nightmares are forming and I think that this one might be turned for Panthera as developers taken away from Slay, even with the rally being popped. The developer's not dying. He just ain't dying. The cookies are strong. What's in those? I want to see what's in the batter. But you got to buy some better butter because the batter's too bitter, my guy. Not even the EMP expended either. M3 gets to hold on. So, Infernal. Little Vench to get developed down. It was hard tanking all that damage the entire way through. It was even Mag sending developers straight into the arms of Zest. M3 thinking about doing a bit of spawn camping here. Could have just soloed EMP developed for the BM, but he'll save it for the next fight. Maybe he's waiting too long. It's nice that pulls the trigger first. And nice has pulled it firmly enough that three members about to fall. And Infernal have to back on out. The hand trigger comes in clutch. Great take back there from Panthera, especially with develop under considerable stress at the hands of Zest. Now, though, Infernal, they do have many... Um, Offensive ultimates, but I think there's enough here to try and deal with them. Both the Primal Rage and the Nano. Everything you could want to try and deal with an EMP. It's the right place. They can still get supports here. Arpen is likely not going to go down at all. So that would be a huge mistake for M3 to solo Arpen again. The support line. That's free pickings right there. Especially if you get developed. That will be the Nano taken off the table. And currently M3 is eyeing out developing. One develop first and... I can't develop. It's just unkillable. Oh, Mag got stuck and actually delivered it over to MN3. That's a huge amount of damage coming through. No tank here is going to make things very, very difficult because our pen's just trolling in the canyon. Primal Rage, so we can get real aggressive if he wants to. Leave a strong. Primus Factor. Yeah, it is. Only a minute remaining. Skewed oh, this both. is now. On the way out. It's a messy execution. They're going to give it up. Wow, that, that was just neutral kills. No ultimates, just straight neutral kills. And Panthera were in a good position as well. Rally about to come online. Support ultimate in the nano plus a primal. Staying power on the final defense on B would have been pretty strong if they didn't start dropping members quickly. And Fernal just offered a number of good picks there. Can monster their way through Panthera without any form of defense to be found at all on B. They can at least save them for C, but that was uh, really unfortunate for Panthera given the lack of time for them. Disparate positioning and a messy disengagement. All that was needed. Zest forced out to recall and Arpen wants that tracer and wants it bad, but it's too far to go. Gotta stay within the LOS of develop and make use of this long sight line. Now where does the next play come through? Nano Primal. Both sides have it. EMP is led by M and three. Sleep on Mag. Is that killable? Probably not because it's not Primal. Maybe the hack will help it out. Both teams now probing their way through. Angry monkeys on either side. Sorry, scientists are going to be even more angry when we hear the cast about that one. And both are going to fall on out now. Once again, a reset hunting? looking over towards these. EMP versus EMP, but it's going to be M3 can bring it out first. That's a big target onto develop. Can't even save himself. Doesn't have the ability to use the bardic grenade. Now Nice is going to actually have to use the EMP in a retake scenario. The rally is done. It's good onto Mag, but there's not enough damage to get him done. And there's even more reason to be a feared of the Gorilla now. Nano boosted. That's an unfortunate platform. RNG keeps Mag at bay, but one versus Just three. Two. Oh, Nano now onto Becky. They're trying to do anything they can up and even coming back on a D, but there's no support. So even if Nice goes for the EMP, can there be the damage? There's certainly not going to be any healing. Also, the cap's going to come on through. 20 seconds left to go. 
Should be a way to clean this one up. No real defenders left, and Infernal will have to get it done. An EMP to develop, which tanks away the Nano. Focusing damage on Arpen, who can't be saved due to lack of Nano. Then when Develop respawns, has to desperately Nano. Somebody ends up on Becky, and while well, Nano Tracer, not the best target, unfortunately, in Panthera. No ability to sustain themselves in that play, and it all starts with the MN3 placement of the EMP. How did Zest manage to get up on top of Develop? on such a long map without that being scouted maybe just it was triple a triple blink, blink in basically a full yeah. commit could it be punished afterwards as well i i was thinking that m3 was going to solo develop and just go for the 1v1 yeah the develop's been so hard to kill that not surprised that you need a little bit of backup there especially given that um well the brig healing can instantly come on through turn around throw some packs in there you're good to go 17 seconds left to go in terms of remaining time i don't know that infernal would have capped if they didn't do in that fight because play the dive composition on c once you get reset trying to come back and retake after a reset on playing dive is extremely difficult and they would not have had time to go for another contest nor would they have had time to change the comp which is what a lot of teams on the attacking side do as well they change the comp from a dive to a brawl or from winston maybe onto a ram for that final point Mm -hmm. Infernal kind of one and done that final point, which is uh, they need to do, especially given they had a real lack of time remaining because they spent a lot of time with B as well. Yeah, the slow down on B. Critical to the erosion of the overall time bank. Some early poke here to the side of uh, Soul Infernal. Of course, MN3 can just farm for days here. He's getting pocketed by Skewed. No worries, mate, and plenty of damage, of course. It's amplified on hack targets. Zen out and play on the attacking side from spawn is fine you'll want to swap off before the 25 percent mark to retain the ultimate charge which is exactly what happens struggling to get out of spawn at least they can transfer this damage on up in for develop which is why the attacking side armor has a bit of a lead at the moment but uh with that lead they'll lose players on the opposite end so you gain something you lose something else bro skewed is just omnipotent he's a god of death and his kingdom is certainly expanded today as mag touches the spawn doors one for the boys one for the lads and disengages over the safety of the Ana. Should allow Skewed now to be able to match Nano. 29% behind, so no real advantage here for Panthera and also seems like Panthera are going to be delayed in this play anyway. Ana comes through. Nice whip shot. Can barely even see through the behind of Fixer, but hey. Up and dying. Skewed Garden. Up and lives. Up and lives. They're trying, to find a, they're trying to find a Nano window here where they can actually use it while Mag is definitely under pressure and behind. Now we're talking about EMP. MN3 being on the defensive side. A lot more time to shoot. Nice. Gotta find it nice hard to make the flank sack and it happen as an attacking somber for the early parts of A. And I think MN3 will just hold this. You don't need to really use it until Panthera walk a little bit further up. But Panthera is committing up and quite deep at this stage. Zest noted in the back. Low on HP is gonna get cleaved down, but no, it's Zest saving them. Oh, beautiful rally just gives over that overhealth. Plenty of means to just keep our pen at bay. It's a well placed shield, admittedly. But Winston remains alive, but he also remains a little bit sleepy. Time for a nap nap, but a quick wake up. So many targets going to be found. The EMP decimates the back line of a three man dive to make sure Panthera have no healing in their future. Skewed still lives for about a second, and Becky comes in. Quick buff on the bonds. Get out of there. I like that from Solomon Infernal because they were about to lose pressure on the front end of Panthera given that well the Arpen final despite not going to get a kill but what it will do is force positioning push a skewed and fix it onto the low ground long range advantage gone from the Solomon Infernal a lot of opportunity for Panthera to gain ground but that ground is instantly lost if, AM3, if MN3 gets to drop an EMP plus mag diving in slaying develop down and through a reset Nice smell of pulse bomb. Will it be Tracer on Tracer again, though, is the question. Guys, force rally, force rally, force rally. It's important. Two person dive onto the back line. Yes, the pulse bomb gets out. Develop still Don't falls. Kill. Zest and them and three both down, though. Now Soul Infernal for all about sustainability. Nano comes through onto a fixer. It's a miss on the blink melee. And Becky can barely believe it as Arpen has to try and get out. Skewed harassing. Nice next up on the docket. But safely gets out using the translocator. Zest and MN3 should be returning shortly. Man on to fix it to keep the game alive. It's going to be your secondary tank. And they look got okay movement during that time. Not the best. I think Panthera could have focused Pale a little bit more. So even if they lose, they're going to get something out of it. 
Rally being popped by Fixer and the support to death for Panthera. That's going to be a huge reset with no time remaining. This could be bad. Panthera turning the face of a full hole here. The good news for Panthera is that at least Inferno will run out of ultimates, but uh, even if they cap, it's going to be an OT. Yeah, it's going to be all about the clarity of execution on these dives. MN3 desperate to get some early poke here. Really wants that EMP. Nice might get chased down. Remember, constantly things when below 50% HP by MN3. Gives a huge amount of information. Rally for Slay. EMP time now. So, looking great for the Soul Infernal. This rally is going to have to do a lot of work for Panthera to keep them up versus the EMP. And you can imagine players will go down very quickly. I just looking drop for the, the Yeah, drop it to the brig right now. Cancel the rally. That's just exactly what we got to do. Them. Absolutely decimate. Steals away the health pack as well for good measure. Develop can't pick that one up. Panthera go 0-5 on Escort and Soul Infernal. Grab themselves a lead in the series. It's going to be a full map completion with a full hold in tow as well. Panthera just couldn't get out of spawn. I mean, they struggled to even get a foot on the payload in the early stages. Eventually, they break out of the early choke and begin assaulting the open areas of egg get on top of big girls and all that good stuff but time was just not on their side plenty of ultimate still online for soul infernal and beyond that the one good opportunity that panthera had was when they got m and three assist down only the backline plus mag alive and a nano from skewed on to fix it to force panthera back and a three-man defense from soul infernal was still more than good enough to put panthera at bay and no opportunity for the rest of the time for the, the rest of the time remaining for panthera to do much more so 2-1 lead now, pushing match point for Soul Infernal. They're going to finish 4-3-1, or is they're going to take us to 5? Find out after this break.
And there it is, match point being found by the Soul Inferno. Panthera unfortunately couldn't get a lot done on Route 66 defense or offense. We find ourselves going into a map four that is looking very good for Soul Inferno, considering that push, in my opinion, has been one of the better game modes for the Soul Inferno. Now, they don't have a lot of stats on push because they haven't played a lot of push and they haven't played a lot of push because they rarely go to a map four. Typically, their games end in a 3-0. So seeing them on a map four at all, bit of a rarity for the Soul Infernal. But historically, when you look at Fusion, you look at first stage as well, this team is insane on push. That was a little bit of a weird one coming in. Apparently, we've got a sub that uh, came in to the team today. They, they literally oh. signed this guy after our information was given. This is De. I'm going to assume that du? it's kind of, it's close to the French rather than Dukes. Uh, and they're coming in for Becky. I know nothing about this player. I'm going to be real honest with you. We didn't even know he's on the team. It's a bit of a silent X. You know what that yeah. is? Silent X. Or Dukes. Du, or, or it's Do You X. Do no, you, do you so no, no information on this player. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. So uh, complete enigma. Should I take a quick cursory glance at what we have here? Well, not a red name, so it has a history. Oh, and the history is on teams that I'm not super familiar with. Supposedly did play for WGS Phoenix back in the day on 2022 last year for a brief period of time. Flex DPS Hero Pool, which is. You know, identical to Becky's if I'm going to be real with you so I'm not too sure what dude's going to be bringing to the table over what Becky already has been bringing so yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean it's a big question right like because Becky I think has been playing pretty well so far and if they're going to yep, play something I think like so. uh, like an Echo I don't see any reason why you'd sub Becky yeah, like one of the big I don't strengths think this is a good of Echo Panthera map. yeah it, like the skybox is incredibly low and lack of aerial cover is a big issue and I think one of the strengths of Panthera is that, like, Nice and Becky could cover basically all bases. If you if you need that long range pressure, Nice has got the Hanzo in the back pocket. Becky's excellent on both the Echo and the Tracer, and Nice has got a good Tracer as well. Well, I think Becky's been their best play for the last two maps at least. Mhm. Mm I think Echo was uh, is Echo looked a little bit more limited on map number one, but Barney through sixty six. Racer from Bakers on Route 66 was pretty damn good versus Infernal, so I will tell this is a risky gamble given that they are down 0 and well down 1 and 2 rather, they at least got the one map and they'll need to win this one to take us to Oasis. Which um funnily enough is not a guaranteed win for Infernal. They have had some real interesting moments, let's say, on Oasis. <laughs> so Infernal uh I think Oasis is the new cursed map for Soul Infernal, so they're probably hoping they don't get to go there at all. Oasis has been a map that actually has had some significant curses for good teams. In Season 1, it was actually the uh, the Kryptonite of London Spitfire, the eventual winners of the entire uh, league in Season 1. They just could not get a win on Oasis, no matter what. It was always a cursed map for them. I'm pretty excited to be casting, essentially, a, a, a mystery player. We don't know what they're coming into play obviously you said that they've got that flex support uh, that flex dps hero pool and uh, obviously like what would you be playing on new queen street i again would have imagined if you want to sub anybody in you're trying to do some like double hit scan stuff yeah i, I know to think then, of it, if that's gonna happen you put in development then he's just gonna come scan. in and play the same thing as becky so <laughs> curious <laughs> yeah if you want to play the hit scan you can always just move over develop for a while considered somewhat prodigious on hit scan definitely a big scout from moon in case they needed to uh, uh expand the shanghai drug uh, the shanghai dragons dps roster back in the time when Flitter was unfortunately on he got picked up when flitter and lip were together having their yeah so godly no run in 2021 so no room at the that's end, gonna be perma bench so it will be full mirror both sides after receiving first hack and nice already fairly low HP, which means he has to back out. Panthera are already going to lose positioning off the rip. I don't even think they can safely contest action, or they'll try and come back in. But nice is once again having to be forced back. Continue to force back. Arfen trying to disengage. Does have a shield to try and work with the LOS. Not good enough. 
still a trade there. On to the Brigitte. I think you're happier though here if you're Sol because you've just managed to isolate these supports. Maybe a steal two of them make a health back. Zest takes out the new challenger in Duh. So I don't care if you're French. I don't care if you're Korean. I don't care if you're Tracer. Get out of my game. Zest just got four in that opening fight. Wow. What a monster. And it's going to be Panthera wiped off the floor. Arpen was low HP basically the entire fight through. And Nice was constantly translocating back. The appears on cloaks. One HP. Translocate back. So repeat again. Enough times that M3 now, despite being low HP, is nearly on EMP, and the time on EMP is crucial because Soul Infernal can get the payload up far enough, they can threaten the cap, and off the back of one EMP, they can actually get this cap. Yeah, force players to the payload. Yes, it's still a good trade. With a pulse bomb. <laughs> it's still a good trade despite dying, so you actually you kind of take that, but you have to now win another fight instantly. M3 is going to look for an opportunity to pop this. Follow up here is going to be a little bit weaker without Zest. He's just just baiting. baiting for now. Dragging that Slay. That means they reset. Didn't do a quick reset. A rally available. The gap has been closed. When it that comes also means to... Nice catches up. Yeah. The gap's been closed on the EMP. And it's used. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'll wake up there. But still, Skewed has done enough to maintain his life off that solo EMP. It was in the tubes. But I'm afraid the tube was not your friend. EMP on the other side. It's on to develop. May well survive here, but no, MN3 manages to find his man. The tracking solid. Should be this checkpoint. Yeah, that'll be enough to cap. The success is on a tear again, dude. He instantly comes back and just frags. He's currently on nine kills, nine final blows out of 11. With MN3 taking the other two, Zest is tearing apart Panthera. The cap within the first two minutes and 30, under 230, actually, and three more ultimates to still play through. Talked a little bit earlier about Nice potentially playing Hanzo, but I was thinking on Lucy synoptically this fact will bring it out now. Has to do a lot of work. Currently under pressure, currently receives the mana, so kept alive. Damage output good, but needs a target. Currently just shooting shields. Yeah, it's not ideal. Oh, that was a nasty one over the shoulder of Mag and through the back of the brain pan. Medulla Oblongata microwaved by the Hanzo. Finally going to be a comeback here for Panthera, but not without significant spending. And uh, Unknown's coming clutch. Yep. Apparently it's pronounced Dukes. We, we know Koreans don't speak French, so that's what that is. Ah, true. You've got me there. Well, not a lot of distance for Infernal. I mean, all of that, I I thought they were going to get 70, 80, maybe 64 is strangely low. That's only barely above the cap itself, and with them and three down, they don't have a real shot to start gaining some of their own meaningful distance. So for their first distance, quiet. I mean, speaking too soon, though. They're just losing Nice to Valve Slayer. They're losing everybody now. Panthera, they were off to a hot start with the player advantage, and that fades away instantly. Huh. I, I could have sworn I just heard an Anna environmental scream. I think that Mag might have <laughs> knocked Develop off the back of the map with his jump. That would be crazy. It would be a little bit weird. Oh, no idea on that one. Yeah, know. Well, for now, with that. Dukes. Pulse bomb, what a way to try and enter the Overwatch League, potentially going up against the Soul Infernal, going up against Zest. Dare you look for the Ego Pulse Bomb, unlikely to be useful. Nice he actually went for the easy pulse, bomb. somehow missed. That, that should have been a hit, but an unlucky hitbox. Nice turns around and just slightly dodges out of the way. Still though, EMP to push. EMP, the targets for spacing. Nice, develop, defends himself and... Just a little bit too late to get anyone else following up on this one. Still nice. Slip through the cracks. Defensive measures were too heavily focused upon the Ana to keep them alive still. Dukes might well find a pot target for the false bomb here. Rapping gets a little bit deeper to try and force out that Sombra. It is indeed successful in said endeavors. But Skewed is still feeling real safe in this area. Remember, it's very difficult for Winston to try and jump in here. He's just going to be following around that Brigitte who can try and kite this out using something like the Shield Bash. And Skewed, he just simply be living alongside Fixer. This guy's respiring until the end of his days. Mag receives an out and now Primals as well. A lot of damage being put onto the tank of Infernal. With all of that, damage onto Mag, but no kill. Infernal will find the backline. Zest onto Nice. He didn't get the pulse from early, but he'll get the kill now. Stick the shield of Slay, but no kill. Eventually, Mag will find him, and Athera will still end up losing everybody. So, more push to be had here. 100 meters, I think, this time on board. Especially with the late death there is on Nice. Now, the only player alive for Panthera can only shoot out a spawn. The key arrow is flying towards him. And three. Even Nice will go down. So. 
Panthera trying to regroup here. They're still losing players. Relentless. A soul and fern. A single quarter given. EMP decimates Arpen. He's been absolutely masticated by the soul infernal never stood a chance the Still emp full cap? nowhere near the full cap might well be here soul infernal punctuating this series potentially as the dragon strike two dragons are going to gobble up any who are in their way but i'm afraid that all you're going to be eating is humble pie at the end of this one still nice finds his man grabs himself banana fix with a rally still just plenty of cushion here's a soul infernal but against this kind of respawn pressure you can need more than a rally oh, son. Look, at, look at the respect being given there soul infernal they lose just you play the rally but still end up backing out i believe arpen on diva here as well arpen should probably look to swap especially given that nice is now back at the spawn panthera had to reset anyway just when you thought Panthera was going to get a little bit of the payload pushed back with full's neutral positioning, it's not going to happen. So it's going to right back into the next skewed back and white and ultimate's coming online. I think they can still attempt the full cap. Speed, power, and aggression zest. Rolls back in time, sends out a pulse from it, easily defended by the brick. No! Oh, the rally! Or rather, the nano boost too late to save our pen. But still, on the other side, it's Mag who's going to be lost. We're still putting in the EMP oh, nice. here. That was very ambitious from MN3. Nice puts MN3 in the ground, and I think this one's gonna have to be yet another reset. Oh, I mean, it's three minutes left. It was looking like the full count was gonna come on through. I mean, look at the distance gained by the Soul Infernal, and they had good ultimates as well. Nice with a couple of nice shots there. All things back, and for the first time in what seems like age, the, the bot is finally in neutral territory, so. Neutral, but right. not allowing them to really get distance here. They've only got their eight meters, so they'll get something, but the Infernal had four to one. I kept the bay. Mr. Decathlon to get slept here. Some good separation on those supports, but the rally is going to be up there. Plenty of potential to defend each other, but oh, you're defending each other, my guys. You ain't defending nice. He desperately wants an environmental, but Mag won't be able to find it, I imagine. Wait, no, develop off the side again? Surely not. It doesn't matter. Zess claims his life before he can go down towards the Toronto side. No tourism oh, allowed. Just again. Oh, he's crazy. He's Another crazy. 4K. He's 17 out of 33, 32. 18. Yep. He's got oh. everybody. My goodness, yes, he doesn't stop. Now the payload rushing backwards. I mean, they want this full cap. They don't want this one to go down to OT. The two minutes left to go. Zest is spawn camp with the rest of the squad. As a couple of players are pushing the payload forward, and now it's back in the path. There is spawn a dragon strike to force players away. And a rally plus a pulse bomb. Where is Zest going to deliver this one? Because it's a tasty tracer right in front of him. And he'll get this deck saved, though. Somehow they didn't even get a kill. Rekul strong enough. Zest right now takes the pill to look inside the Matrix. See Nice going up high. He wants to lay him down low. Do himself has managed to grab the Nano. His fingers are still blackened with the ink from the contracts. And unfortunately, even when you're in. glowing, there's nothing here. The EMP for MN3 should be a punctuation on Actually this, but I don't know if it even grabs anyone. It's just the celebratory firework. Propaganda is useless, but so too is this defense. Everything slipping through the cracks bar the rally from Slay. But can he stay close enough to the car to even maintain any semblance of life? Zest is absolutely not. But, nice. Bringing things back. This is the play he wants to highlight at the beginning of the series. Still, Zest says highlights for all for me, mate. Looking for a stick. Too far away. Develop still too low. Herded around by the sticky. This is a godly deadlift coming through from Zest. Uh, my goodness, he nearly got up in there as well. Oh, it takes an entire army to take Zest down by himself. But once again, Infernal will be forwarded. It's so close to the full cap. And it just slowly slipped through their fingers. I can't believe I'm disappointed that a team is not full capping. It's very rare, by the way, that a team is able to full cap. So even if they don't full cap, this is still an unbelievably one sided map. And it looks like the last 20 seconds will just fade away without much fanfare from Panthera to do much. I'd be surprised if Panthera hit the 10 meters here, given how far Infernal are ahead. And in terms of everything on this map, but especially now as we approach the final fight, they got ultimates coming online. But they're having him being able to disable the forward spawn since it was activated so long ago. Yeah. Nice. May well be someone who could clutch up here, but while you're sleeping, it's highly unlikely, my guy. It's gonna be a fight up on the cart. Nice. Give him the survival tools that he needs, but right now is lacking targets. The bot is so far away, it's the responsibility of someone else. Going ape in here is Mag destroying everyone who would dare to move their way across Skull Island. And Kong has got his man. Arpen, I'm afraid, my guy, you are alone and you will fall. So too will Panthera, Soul Infernal, dominant on New Queen Street.
Yeah, as expected, I think Soul Infernal, this was always going to be their best game mode. It was last year when they were the Fusion as well. And well, most of the Fusion are here, including the coaches on this new Infernal squad. So the more things change in terms of branding, the more things stay the same in terms of where they are strong and where they are strong or where Panthera are not. So a little bit of a lack. Let's just start on Lee Jung Tower. It will end with fireworks for the Soul Infernal, as you'd expect. It is still a victory today. It came close, but Zest did maintain the deadlift out of 45 kills for Soul Infernal. Zest managed to grab 23 of the final blows, just clearing yeah, it by so. a fraction of a percent. He's not just the best of the best, Admiral. He's the Zest of the Zest. Right at the top. I mean, he showed it right away. I think the first two fights, he got nine kills, something like that. So, first fight, first neutral was four, alone for Zest. And for a time, I remember checking the score, and it was like 9 out of 11 total was this. The other two were yeah. three. That happened in the first half of the map. So, Soul Infernal. A little bit of a scare for the team early on. But a swift victory at the end. Zest might have impressed on New Queen Street, but it was a support line for me. Uh, both you and I were looking at fix a bit skewed as well. The other half of that support line, they pulled up the big boy shorts today, and uh, while well, they looked pretty good. Yeah, strong performance from Skewed, consistently clutching up, surviving so many EMPs critically. And of course, all the big antis. G good presence of mind on the nanos as well, not having to save them as much for responses to EMPs at the beginning of the series when we saw the constant pressure of the Echo come through from Becky. So Skewed was a lot more able to throw out the nano as his judgment would decree rather than as a countermeasure to the EMP. And the game sense that Skewed bought to uh, find things like that two versus two with Fixer at his side on them. Barney came from Skewed having that. Smart things out with a bit of a Skewed bath on the classic for this team. But really, I think the Ana play for me was what sells it in. It is an Ana meta. So plenty of good sleeps. Not just onto the traces, but sometimes onto the Sombras as well. And you have to have a really quick reaction to get the Sombra as EMP happens. You're probably not going to cancel EMP, but you are certainly going to be able to put the Sombra to bed in here. Putting Becky to bed as well into this, guys. Oh, is crazy. Omnipotent, honestly, on the Ana. Continuously, that's the second uh, nano <laughs> echo you're going to see slapped in this reel, by the way. It says one on the attack as well, or rather one on the defense of the Soul Infernal. Wait, the highlight does go on because you better believe that no one's getting away when Skewed is on the prowl. It's going to be yet another one. Eki's got that wide hitbox with the wings, and Skewed takes advantage of it. He's really a frag heavy Ana player as well. I think mean, we noted that yesterday where you just see MCD hard healing and Skewed is going for the kills. And this is one of those situations where he's hitting his shots, he's getting the extra damage. And I think one of the maps who were noting that Skewed was on about 12k healing per 10. And that was, I believe it was Nambani. So yeah, that was Nambani. That was the one map where he had a ton of healing in play, but still wasn't lacking the damage department either. So. The guy certainly has a good balance, so this is one of the slides we're talking about, right? You see the Sombra coming on in, the EMP is about to hit you. You can just barely get the sleep in there. You won't cancel the EMP, but you will definitely stop the Sombra in her tracks in terms of damage output. Yeah. The, the best peel, Avril, is the peel that you give to yourself. We should be able to have a quick interview real soon. The Soul Infernal, of course, I have to try and set that one up from their COVID isolation. We've got uh, Unknown ready to go. Give it to us. 안녕하세요. MN3 선수 승리하셨습니다. 소감 어떠신가요? Hey MN3, how do you feel uh, about the win today? 일단은 뭐좀 최근에 저번 경기에서 0대 3으로 져서 막 그렇게 기분이 좋지 않았는데 그래도 오늘 so we weren't really on that high because we um, lost the match against the Fuel uh, 0 3 but like today we feel a little bit better because we won. Um, you should have. Uh, we anticipate that you must have had a lot of difficulties because you were playing on different environments today. How is it different? So, I mean, for Scoot, um, I heard that he doesn't have an air conditioner in his room, so it, was, it, would, it would have been really, really hard for him during the match. So, But apart from that, apart from, apart from Scoot, I don't think anyone had any major difficulties. <laughs> Uh, 
집에서 그냥 편하게 먹는 것도 좋아해가지고. So um also like being away from the team house, like T1 is really Infernal, who is which is part of T1, um is really famous for its good food. Um do don't you miss that? 그냥 목감기인 것 같아요. I Yes, I do miss it, but uh, food at home is also really good, so not really much of a concern. We saw a lot of Rhine Rush and Lijang Tower in particular. Um, just in a fun perspective, what would be your favorite meta? Of course, this is just a me bias, but I also think I speak for the fans when the meta would be best if there is a sniper uh, included in the meta. Like, in particular, something like the Ash. So are you a little bit disappointed that Ash isn't part of the meta? Well, I mean, of course, like, you know, we don't always play for fun, but, you know, com compositions without a lot of long range is not the most fun to play. And also, like, me sometimes fumbling on the Sombra doesn't make it a lot more fun either. I mean, you've also probably seen me um, fumbling on those EMPs. So, um, hopefully, the long, long range hit scan is in the works soon. You have the Dragons and the Soul Derby against the Dynasty uh, next. Can you share your resolve going into the next matches? Well, what can I say? We'll just work hard and we'll make sure we get the results. Again, congrats on your win. And that is the end of the interview. Back to you, Kevin. I'm the Kevin now. <laughs> a hot hand for Skewed, all wow. coming off the back of a lack of air conditioning in his room. As a Brit, very relatable, but even more relatable content is coming from the Overwatch League Summer Stage Qualifiers here in the East. We've got ourselves a banger on the docket. Don't you go anywhere. See you after this. Is now a